And Frog Detective 1 down. Now we got Frog Detective Part 2. Let me just get the game set up. Ooh, the logo changed up a bit. All right. We finished Frog Detective 1. It's time for Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Depending on when I finish this, this might take a few parts because uh, I have an hour to play it and I don't think I'll finish it in time, but we'll see. Oh yeah. Let's play. Remember, I voice a bunch of, I give these characters stupid voices. I might have the frog go through puberty. They've gotten older a bit. Like I just give them a deeper voice every single voice. Yeah, let's do that. I'll give him a, his voice will get slightly deeper each game. Why not? Mostly because I can't do that voice anymore. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. I won a war... <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's the place of the game. The one at uh, Warlock... Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a dozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry, anyway. Warlock Woods is a fairly small part town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into a new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on the case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I I, I might I might keep this voice back. I uh, I don't know what you guys think. Do you like the? I feel like the 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 voice fits him well. What do you? Oh, I just noticed the thing changes. It's not a magnifying glass anymore. What do you guys think? Should I do like that voice or should I go back to this? That's me, I'm the detective. I am aware. Also, your voice changed. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. The Mad Hatter voice? Okay, all right. Okay, fine. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? <laughs> yup. Great, hop to it. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot to mention. A new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible! Ah, that was loud! And a wizard! An invisible wizard. Cool! Uh, what's the rev relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible? De-invisible? Uh, visible? <laughs> exactly. You got it right, Frog Detective. Nothing gets past you. Anyway, have you heard anything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course! It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor! Good luck, Detective. All right. Magnifying glass. I like the Mad Hatter voice. I'm glad. All right, I'll keep it. Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Oh, 
Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Did we use the magnifying glass for anything in the first game? I do not think so. But it was fun to zoom in on objects. We meet again, phone. I know what crimes you committed. You won't get away with this. All right. All right, time for Frog Detective 2. Ah! You. Lobster cop. Oh my god. That smile. Officer Larry. Is that the same guy as before? All right, I got to think of a really good voice for him. What do you guys think? What voice should I pull out? I use I used crunk already. Uh, let me see. Let me think here. Let me think. The thing is, I'm running out of impressions to do. Larry the Lunch Lobster from Spongebob. Hey, I'm bait. It's going to turn into Plankton if I do that. Ah, uh, it's the famous frog detective. <laughs> we can go with that. Ah, famous? I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not. But I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. This, I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure it is, you little cleaning frog. <laughs> and then I ha then I say, I'm a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. <laughs> If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. But, Detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you like. Wow, yes, please. Tip number one. Pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Good call. I can't tell if Lobster Cop is a good guy or just oblivious. Neither can I. That's why I gave him the plankton voice. Tip number three, carry a notebook. I'm not really that big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Grace, are you going to pop up again? Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself contains, but... A book yourself... You... Uh, fuck. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day! I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you could use too. I bought them with all my crime-solving money. <laughs> cool! I'll let you get to it, detective. And into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop. Why was, like, that the best plankton I've ever done? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, the smile. 
You do hope everything smooths through. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that that smile. Oh my god. I love this. I love this so much. How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know, I'm just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. He went to space? Apparently so. He went to the trash can. He went to the woods. He encountered death. He went to space. He did everything. He's Lobster Cop. What thickos should I pick? And where should they go? Alright, let's see. We're gonna put you here. I'm a winner, so obviously this is going here. The starfish from the first game, we're gonna do it. Robots are cool. And we're going to put a frog in here. I love the rip sound whenever you rip off a sticker. I'm going to put the frog. Okay, let's see. And we'll put an alligator here, too. Eggs are great. Lipstick, I, a car. Actually, there's a car. There's a snake in my boots. And finally, last but not least, a cactus. I'm done. Wait, can I open the book? All right, we'll put the cool sun on here too. Got a notebook. Open your notebook with X. Suspicious. Ooh, what do you think we could like suspect something? Okay. How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. Oh. I did it already. I'm I'm good. Do I just leave? Time to solve another mystery. Thanks, Lobster Cop. I thought he was going to be the villain, but I guess he's not. Ooh, we're holding a light now. Okay, not bad. <laughs> what? Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. <laughs> With assistance from Vic's screen. Look at that. Look at that face. Warlock Woods. Starring Frog Detective. Susan, Ralph, Mandy, Mary, and several more characters. <laughs> I love that so much. 
Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Created by Grace and Thomas. Nice job, Grace and Thomas. All right, here we go. Ooh. Soda or water? What is it? Hello, Susan. Oh, my stars. It's you. It's me. A famous lobster cop. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think you have that quite right there. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, oh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. A uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contracted contact the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that's how it worked. <laughs> that's how it always works, detective. The person who reports the call is always innocent. Always. Never has the person who called the authorities been a suspect. Ever, ever. And if any books told you that, you got it wrong. Because books aren't to be trusted. The internet is. Oh my god. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though. Remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. Let's see. About the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one who to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing it up again. So you were fine with her moving into the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's exciting to always have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, to be honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on that sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would just knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, that's for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because the new pe- Because they- I, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Because they bring new perspectives. Especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding. More of the sake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry. Not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. Let's see. About last night. Also, I need some water stat. Where were you on the night in question? I was home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much, I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. 
but I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction or the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance of the Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Question me all you like. I think that's it. All right. So we need to find you a hook. <laughs> Wait. Susan. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroy the parade out of embarrassment. Needs something to fix her sign. It says she's not suspicious. This makes her more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. I don't know. I find it suspicious. Alrighty then. Who are you? What's suspicious on everyone? I shall. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. You're so small. I'm an average frog height. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? <laughs> about the wizard. Let's go with that first. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Uh, it's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh. I've been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got there first. I see. In my fault, I guess. I should hold it against the wizard. This house is twice as big as the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down in the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Uh, maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Question to me, huh? About your eye. I need to drink some water. I also need to blow my nose. Hold on, I gotta mute myself. Pardon me. Ooh, boy. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? been pardoned, good sir. That's Ralph's business. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That should make me that shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched a movie last night. About pirates. I knew it! I knew it! And I loved it. And there's another three left. Oh god, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I never had a movie. I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal for a video game to sequel. 
especially for games with large audiences like Toad Investigation Series. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night, and that's where I was. And for that reason, I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Ah, thanks. Hang on. It is now working. All right, let's see. If you give him a pirate voice, it's like your brain. It's like you're in the brain of the developers. Well, it's kind of the context clues here. All right, let's see. Ralph, motive. In true pirate fashion, wants to cause a ruckus? Needs building supplies. Loves pirates, eye patches, cosmetic only, a private boy. Wants to renovate, thinks I am too small. I am not. Suspicious! All right. Let's see who else we need. What the? What the hell? Why is there a photorealistic dog? Is that Grace's dog? Is I she has a cute, very cute dog. Ooh. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie. One lost pie. Hello. Hi. Hello. Want to hop in? A little bit, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? I'm the detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? It's like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend, Naughty. Oh? She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so that timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I love the awkward silence. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions? About the wizard. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Eh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I didn't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. <laughs> You already got a parade. Okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. What am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. But probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog. And I love to solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Yeah, Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, uh, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? A uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think it's because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve the mystery. 
I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of this hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I am here! Right, there I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. Hey, Jay Shaker, welcome to the stream. We're playing Frog Detective and we got one money. The one money. Here's a lost pie. Hello, Victor, I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective, you may have to speak up. The hot tub, these hot tubs jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. No mistakes. Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and the other mistake for giving me a pie. It does not belong to you. That's right, Detective. Though I am visiting out of, from out of town, I know that this one of Mandy's pies, they are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away. So I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I'm sorry, and I am sorry. I know, ground pies are great. What the hell? That's okay, detective, but I'll be watching you. You should return the pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. What were you thinking? Victor, motive. Adam Eaton could have been jealous of the parade. Need something to eat. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. <laughs> Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Well, I hope you do visit Pumpkinville, frog detective. Just came back after watching a movie. What movie were you watching? Oh, there's a lot of people to talk to. I have to give them all voices. Missing. I never heard of it. Are these all objects? Oh my God. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Oh, there's probably a bunch of pies we gotta find. Two lost pies. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them all dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but indeed means a lot of cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned the tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess. But first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Oh, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. About last night. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net where magic happened. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. Well, you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding would, would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I did win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Is it like Mystery Monkey 49 again? Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How do you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. And then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night. So I couldn't see much. But they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like. But they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Do you hear any noise after that? Oh god, I'm definitely gonna get need a break from this soon. Ooh, who knew Frog Detective would kill my voice? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw this mess in the morning. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Pies! I got some pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal light. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? I don't know. They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you look... Do you think I look amazing? Yup. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. Ooh, boy. Oh, God. All right, I'm live still. For a second, I wasn't sure. I was like, am I live? I don't know for sure. I am though, good. Ooh. Giving my voice a rest for a second. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. Yeah, you're still alive. We're all just chilling watching you, and I appreciate that. My voice is just killing me. What were you talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies. Right. You offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you can bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Hey, thanks, detective. Tell me what you want to know. All right, here's some pies. Mandy! Detective! I have found you some of your pies. Wonderful. There's only three left to find. I'll hop to it. Let's see. Motive. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps? Took it out of the parade. Help finding... Need help finding her five pies. Last night was on Whiz Bay, bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me on fashion. About fashion, fair enough. Real witch, spooky. Suspicious! And also, you're suspicious, too! If I were a pie... Ah! What the hell? Who are you? Who was that? Who was that? Oh god, I never noticed her pictures. Oh, is that a pie right over there? Oh my god, how did I not notice that? 
got a lost pie. All right, we need like, oh, we gotta go in here. Hello, is anybody home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I should intrude on them. I'll come back another time. No pies here, but a lot of the items for the first game are here. Uh, here's a pie. Is this all the pies? Wonderful. Now there's only two left to find. Two left? Where are they going to fit on the plate? All right. Hello, miss. Or Mary. Ah! Ooh, la la. Hello? Hello, frog. Hello, what is your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Oh, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Check the plants. Okay, I'll check the plants. Oh, God. There's a pie right there. Oh, my God. Look, there was something hidden in the flower pot. Oh, my God. I see it now. Maybe you should get some sleep. Also, hi, Minerva Crow. Welcome to the stream. May? Maybe. You think very loudly. Yep. I'm why everyone sounds proof their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at the 3 a.m. Wow, that's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sorry, that's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sound before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That'll be a hundred money. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I... Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy, I love questions. About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. I was asking you about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is the part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, So I didn't do any crimes or anything? I have a right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Ah, literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood that night that the parade was destroyed. I heard that Natty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh, boy, I love questions. Uh, last night. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing the questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just sitting outside. You were outside, the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Well, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any other monies to get there. 
I figure if I get if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La! What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. I remember the last time I got extorted. It was a... It was rough. But it's okay. They're gone now. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh, boy. All right. So I need five money. Mary. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Needs. Five money. All right. Notes. Sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproofed her, their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. It's such a thrill, guys. But that thrill is also suspicious. All right. There's a pie in the plant. Now, where's the last one? <sighs> Sorry to get tired. Wait a minute. What the hell? <laughs> Is that Grace? Grace, are you just chilling here as a bug? Is that the de developer? It looks like the developer with shades on. Is that you? Apparently she has a TikTok. I actually follow her. Or do I? A zebra. A customer. Welcome to Carlos. All things you could you couldn't need shop. Are you Carlos? Yeah, it's just like the name of the shop. That's me. Ah, how cool is that? The shop has my name in it. Oh, cool. My company also has my name in it. What is your company called? Wrong Detective Crime Solving Game, you should see. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are... We all... We are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a social construct. We have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, La my office neighbor Lobster Cop has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yup. Holy heck, I've been a fan forever. You know, he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Oh, uh, I don't think it was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. Oh, you mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Huh. No. Larry's a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh, well. Agree to disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me. The detective. I had I, the whole game about it. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? The nine in question. I knew it. Where were you last night? Just in here in my shop. Larry is lobster cop. Oh my God. Oh my god, that actually probably is the case. And just Larry wanted to be Larry the Lobster Cop. So the fact that I make them sound both like Crunk and Plankton kind of works. Just me here in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? 
Oh boy, 4 a.m. Time to paint. You're up at all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although I may must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Not, nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime? Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. The wizard. What do you know about this new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant for, to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone's been prepping for. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who's this parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. He just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to parade without one. You think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Uh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Fortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What do you like to know? All right, that's all for now. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs party hats. Busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Suspicious! Alright, let's see if we can get it. Oh, I didn't talk to you. I forgot. Hmm. What? What? Huh? Who are you? The detective? Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Did you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud! Wow, that frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it that you that asked me to come? No. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. About last night. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh? But I can't tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Huh? And she's invisible. Great. And that she just moved in. Yup. And she's a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, the wizard? So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, oh heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here. But the house has been empty for ages. And I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came in a weird time of night. And, I, uh, well, I thought she was a ghost. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her. <laughs> oh, my God. With a vacuum. 
I put it on the highest setting. She just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um, please don't put me in jail. <laughs> You're not going to jail. You should probably apologize. Okay, sorry, detective. I mean, to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping you with the parade. You apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. Wait, I missed the frog saying jail wasn't real? Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed out on a great opportunity. I'm starting to get tired. I can feel it. If only I had a, if only I had a rug or something I could use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is a disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no! Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. We'll do. You have more questions? Nothing right now. All right, let's see. We interviewed everybody. Naughty. Motive. Try to vacuum the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Or needs a rug. Things that can read minds, I can't. The mayor? I heard a cool band to play the parade. Attack the wizard. Suspicious. Oh. Suspicious. Well, I'm glad to know the detective said jail isn't real. What did you need? Fix my sign, a hook. I need to find one more pie. Wait. That's a hook. Right, I need to figure out what to do here. I were a frog, where would I go? Hmm, let's see. Maybe I have to go back in? Hello, is anyone home? Someone's in there, but I shouldn't intrude on them. Okay. We need to find the last pie. I feel like a pie would be here somewhere. But I guess not. Maybe send another potted plant? Wait. I 
think I saw one. Wait. Oh, shit. Man, that was in, like in plain sight too. All right. Okay. We got, we set everything in motion. We found the pies. Here you go. I found a nice pie for you. I found all your pies. Well, all of them? I think so. Yeah, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched the general vicinity, yes. Wowie. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. I got one money. So I got to get money. That's the goal here. I don't think I have, you have a promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. I, you can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take what to eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. So now we got a fresh pie that was not on the ground. that we can give where are you you reindeer questions uh, give the fresh pie I think you'll like that one are you still hungry yes very it's making me really rude for example I think your jumper is outdated Victor I am not the most fashionable frog in the world but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie. I have a pie for you from Mandy. Is not from the ground? Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously, score. Yep. Please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh wow! Thank you. It's true, and I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. Y'all making me blush. You should give yourself... I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Alas, my head is simply too weird of shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. I got a party hat. Let's go. All right, so I know what to do with the party hat. Would you like a party hat, sir? What would you like to know? Take the party hat, buddy. It's all yours. Carlo, if I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard of all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect, it was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, oh, thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what it is, but I figured you're good at solving these type of puzzles. Got a rug? I'll find a youth for it. Thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. All right, so now we got the rug. Who needs the rug? Probably the mayor. Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I even invited to parade? I hope so. All right, you need a rug. All right, here you go. You get a nice rug. Give them a rug. Great news. What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole. This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. That rug made all the difference. I don't think you, they will, but they're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo! 
Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on their way. Wow, I saw them live and I was blown away. I can't wait. Me too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh? I have some building supplies left over for when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Perfect. We needed building supplies as well. Plus one money. Oh no, that's okay. I was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Oh, thanks. Now the question is, I don't think I can get this done in time to finish part two. And we can always play this again next week and finish up where we're at. And continue part three. So I might just quit and save for now. Because one, my voice is getting tired. And two, uh, it's a lot. But yeah, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save and quit for now. Are you sure? Yep. What happens if I load again though? All right, I can continue. Cool. All right, so Frog Detective is pretty fun. It's pretty wacky and silly and all that. But I think I am going to call it a day for now. We have been live for a while. My voice, my voice hurts. I'll be honest, my voice hurts. Um, well, it doesn't hurt. It's just more like tired. Because when you voice a bunch of characters, it does that to you. So we're going to find someone to raid. Let me see who's live. Actually, anybody live in our community? Yes. Music is jazzy, by the way. I really like it a lot. Um, let me see. Who do I want to raid? do I want to read today? Let me see. Oh, looks like a uh, tap girl is playing a game, but she's on a BRB screen. Curses. No. I hate BRB screens. They're the worst. I'll raid her anyway. She'll she'll see when she comes back. I was over there earlier. Tap girls? Yeah, why not? Let's stream. Why not? Let's give her a nice raid. She'll get it when she comes back. She's playing some Scarlet Hollow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the stream, thank you so much for watching. We're going to probably finish this game in the future, um, along with the third game that they gave us, because why not? Um, I'm really having fun with it. I'm enjoying it. We'll, we'll continue to play the others next time. But if you like the content, be, please be sure to hit the follow button. If you like that content also, um... Subscribe to both of my YouTube channels, the YouTube main channel and the VOD channel where the stream will be backed up. My Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok if you're not following me there already. My Discord if you want to join the community. My The podcast my friends and I are in if you want to listen to us. And finally, here's the Ray Command. Copy and paste the Ray Command once we get to their channel. We will be live. Um, when will we be live? We will be live sometime next week. Uh, I think we'll do one stream before the birthday stream anniversary. It probably Tuesday. I'm not sure yet. I still need to think about it when making the schedule. But yeah, I will see you all. I'll see you all when I see you. Have a good night. Bye.